Good morning, Cornell Elementary. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. I'm Jake. I'm Stone. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are some fun facts for today. Did you know frogs drink water through their skin? Did you also know your nose and ears continue growing your entire life? Did you know kangaroos can't walk backwards? Also, did you know pigs can't look into the sky? It's physically impossible. Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading to you Creepy Carrots. This story is by Aaron Reynolds, and the pictures are by Peter Brown. This book won a Caldecott Award for the pictures. Creepy Carrots. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best. Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice, and he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Ugh. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Until they started following him. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth. There they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew, creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it. Breathing, terrible, carroty breathing. And there on his wall, Creepy carrots! He shouted, Dad, Dad! His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now please go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. I think Jasper has an idea. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. Boys and girls, do you see what Jasper's doing? As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there were no tunk, tunk, tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. 
No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. The end. I hope you enjoyed Creepy Carrots. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you check out, if you haven't already, check out Creepy Pair of Underwear. Till next time, boys and girls. Thanks, Miss Del Greco, for reading Creepy Carrots. We loved it. Now that you have read Creepy Carrots, another fun thing you can do is make your own Creepy Carrots. Using things around the house, you can design your own way of fencing in the carrot patch. One thing you can do when you're bored is go outside and have an Easter egg hunt. Another thing you could do when you're bored is play with sidewalk chalk. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gino. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Our Cornell Elementary staff misses you so very much. Please stay healthy and safe, and we hope to see you soon. Always remember to get your exercise every day and to read every day. We love you and wish you a terrific week.